All right, what is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another video. As always, I am Crypto Maximalist. Thank you, as always, for joining me for another video. Taking a look at Polygon or Matic today. Polygon is a very, very interesting chart, so I thought I'd cover it today. Also, had quite a few requests for this one recently, so I thought I'd do a one just to update everyone on what's going on. So, as always, like and subscribe, leave a comment. Really, really helps out the channel. And with that being said, you can see taking a look at the price action here. You can see, as always, got my Fibonacci on there from the bull market previous high down to the low of the bear market. We've got a little bit of a support, trend line support looking like this, and also that resistance there. Very, very interesting chart, actually, because I've not actually looked at this in a little while. So you can see how it's developed, really, ever since I drew in these this big coiling motion that Polygon's been in ever since we started going into the bear market, really. You can see we've got a little bit of a resistance support, resistance support, and then you can see we broke resistance here of this big coiling motion that we've seen for so long. Head up to our 618 where we got stuck, just like we did last time, really. We had a little deviation here, but really just stuck under that 618. And you can see if I zoom in in this local area, we had that big, a massive, massive rollover actually for Polygon compared to quite a lot of altcoins. Considering how big Polygon is, it's had a massive, massive rollover. A lot of the larger altcoins haven't really been as affected by the Bitcoin downturn recently, but this is a quite a significant rollover here. You can see a very, very clear test of the 618. Come down to support, lose support, retest resistance. You can see retesting this 100 daily moving average as well. And then you can see this big rollover and collapse to the downside. We come back inside that resistance that we were obviously breaking out of as well. You can see that bear market resistance there. Came up here, we actually finally got the breakout. We came down looking for the back test, but we never got it in this area here. And you can see we came down to our 0, 0, 0.038 Fibonacci. Couldn't hold that as support. Broke all the way down and retested perfectly, actually, that trend line support of the bear market there, as you can see. Currently getting a bounce up in that area. Bounced back up to the 0, 0.038 and tested as resistance. And right now, currently sat between them. You can see really looking still quite bearish for Polygon, but getting very, very oversold in this local area now. And Bitcoin, in my opinion, looking like it might be starting to find some support and a bottom. And you can see when you look at your RSI here, every single time pretty much that you get a very significantly oversold Polygon on this RSI here, you do start to see the bottoms forming. If I just highlight these all on the chart, you'll be able to see pretty much every single time that we do see ourselves getting down to these very oversold prices, you can see we are getting a bounce in the market. This one here was obviously on the way down in the bear market, but with things starting to chop bullish now, heading into the bull market, you'd probably expect a fairly decent recovery in my opinion, at least back up into this area here, anywhere from around 70 cents to $1. This key area of that Polygon keeps going back to. Overall, this chart though looking completely fine, the macro looking really, really bullish still for continuation going into the bull market. And really, I'd say this is just a temporary liquidation, washing out all those longs before we see ourselves heading back up to the upside. Two days to the halving for Bitcoin. Things are looking fine to me. Like and subscribe, leave a comment. See you in the next one. Cheers.